Hello, today we are doing exhibition Elikrama 2025 in Expo Mart Great Anoida. Hello, Expo Media. My name is Alexander. What is your name? Hi, Alexander. My name is Saurav. Saurav Hiravat. Nice to meet you. Can you introduce your company? My company, Jigo India. Uh, we are a premium manufacturer of uh, cable and panel accessories. And we are in the market for uh, over 30 years. And this is a family-run business. And we are one of the largest uh, global manufacturers of cable ties. Oh, very nice. And uh, uh, does your company export some uh, supplies? Yes, our uh, our cable ties are uh, UL approved internationally and we are exporting to Middle East, Brazil and we also have a, a office and warehouse in uh, Toronto, Canada where I live and I operate all the exports. Okay, great, great. And uh, can you tell me that uh, um, does your company follow that's environmental friendly um, future? Yes, uh, our factory is a zero uh, wastage factory. All our products are fully recyclable and even our packaging are made with, uh, you know, recycled uh, materials which can be recycled based on the government norms. Okay, nice. And uh, tell me a little bit about your experience in this exhibition. This is the sixth time we are participating in this exhibition. And this is uh, the biggest and the best exhibition in the electrical field globally. So, you know, we are always here and we are always happy uh, to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Hi. what is your name? My name is Kailash. I'm the director of business operations here at R&D Square. Okay, thank you. My name is Alexander. Uh, can you introduce your company a little bit? So we at R&D Square work as a trusted R&D partner for companies. We work with hardware, connectivity and cloud and mobile application development. So based on the customer's requirement or the client's requirement, we design and develop solutions for them. Your company basically in India? Yeah, we are based out of India, uh, we are based out of Kochi, Kerala. We are uh, closer to the Cochin International Airport. 
Uh, okay, could you tell uh, me about uh, some innovation, uh, what you showcase in this uh, exhibition? So in terms of uh, the innovations that we have done, so for, for our clients, based on their requirements, we have developed a nice smart solution. So understanding uh, and gathering data, uh, capturing the data using the IoT modules and platform to send the data and uh, helping the clients uh, remotely monitor from a single source or single dashboard using just a portal to view various machineries, various, uh, you can say, various uh, devices and understand what are the parameters, what is their activity, what is their status and understand if there are any failures or uh, use those failures or understanding those signals or alarms to better improve the maintenance. And uh, what about your company's vision uh, 2030? So in terms of our vision, uh, we want to be uh, become one of the biggest, largest uh, design partners uh, for companies around the world and also provide solutions uh, which um, are up to the new day and age and with the newest technology available. And uh, can you explain for uh, for us uh, how where we can use it, uh, your... Um... Our services, yes. So in terms of the services that we provide, as I said, we are research and development uh, services partner. So we use our uh, engineering expertise or our engineers or our uh, workforce uh, in developing solutions which are for industrial domain, for energy domain, for automotive domain. So we are barely in, uh, mostly into the business to business space, uh, developing solutions, understanding parameters and understanding the problem statements and addressing it uh, based on how we can better provide the solution using IoT such as your Wi-Fi, 4G connectivity and so on. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, can you showcase uh, that's your supplies, yeah. how that's working and what uh, the, uh, we can... Sure. Uh, so, uh, what we have showcased here uh, as a product is our uh, smart IoT thermostat. So, this can be used in your homes, offices to uh, monitor and control your uh, climatic conditions within the space uh, remotely as well as smartly using a mobile app or a digital platform. So you have the device which is a touch screen device so you can uh, increase and set the uh, respective temperatures that you require and the same is reflected in our mobile app. Even here you can uh, just reduce it if you want to have a cooler climate and if it is in winter condition you just push it up to a more warmer setting. And as well as you can also put on your uh, AC system, your heater system, you can just uh, by the click of a button you can do all these settings from the app. So uh, we are more making uh, the uh, users, uh, it is more user centric and more easy to use. Okay, I, if I understand uh, correctly, we can use it in the future in smart houses, in smart farm and some factories. Yes, yes definitely in smart factories, smart farms. So, in smart factories and smart farms, it is very critical to maintain the climatic condition. Even a small drop will affect the outcome. So, better than that, once you get, uh, you have various reports that are being generated. If there are any fluctuations, you get all the pop-ups, all the notifications in your mobile app and then you can address it as fast as possible. Then the uh, different case, if you don't have this, such a system, then you will have to continuously monitor on a half hourly or hourly basis, go to the farm physically. Here you can just monitor it at the uh, expense of when you are travelling also, you can just monitor at the uh, palm of your hand. You have smartphones, everyone is using smartphones, yeah. So yeah, you can just travel and still keep your business running. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alexander, Expo Media. What is your name? Uh, myself, Akash Kaushik, Good Enough Energy Director. Nice to meet you. Uh, can you uh, introduce your company? Sure. Uh, we are Good Enough Energy. We are setting up India's largest giga factory, which is 7 gigawatt hour. It is India's first indigenous developed product for battery energy storage system. 
Our product is having a liquid cool thermal management technology, which is being developed and has been developed here in India only. Uh, we have a team of almost 23 engineers who has developed this uh, proprietary technology. Oh, nice. Uh, can you tell me about this, uh, some innovation what your company is uh, you know, showcasing in this exhibition? Uh, surely. So, you know, these battery energy storage systems, uh, if you look about India, India is targeting 50% renewable by 2030. But renewables have some challenge, like they cannot be available at the time when they are exactly required. So be it solar or wind, you need to store it when they are produced in excess and then use it when actually required. So uh, currently India is having 40% of renewable focus and uh, uh, to gain that we need some energy storage systems. So this product is a 20 feet container having 5 megawatt hour of energy storage capacity and uh, this has a long life of 25 years. So we give you 10 years warranty and it runs for 25 years having an advanced thermal management which keeps the battery cool irrespective if the ambient is minus 30 degree or plus 60 degree. Can you introduce your company technologies and explain a little bit about that, say, your surprise? Surely. So this is our storage 0.25 which is a 250 kilowatt hour battery energy storage system. You can directly replace a diesel generator of 125 kVA with this in your factory and offices and multiplexes where diesel generator is being used. The three years operational cost buy you this and then it runs for 25 years. This has five modules of 50 kilowatt each and a liquid thermal management technology which cools the battery every time. This having a PCS which is a 125 kV inverter system and then a liquid thermal management technology which a chiller produce to cool this. And we have this another one which I'll show you right here. So this one is a prototype of a 5 megawatt hour container of a 20 feet size. You see those cargo containers, mm, yes, uh, yes, yes. the shipping containers. So it's a proto of that. It's a 20 feet container having 5 megawatt hour energy storage capacity. Yeah, so small container but 5 megawatt. Yeah, yeah 5 megawatt. So, so th th this is generally used on substation level or in big solar parks to store the energy in the noon time and then supply it at the peak hours in evening when actually they need it. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about your company's mission uh, 20, uh, 2030 and uh, your vision about 2047 in future? So, uh, we place ourselves as some company which produce BESS. Whenever somewhere in the world people are looking for BESS, they should look for India as well. And when they look for India, they'll come to good enough by itself. So, we are directly and directly competing with China. Our uh, technology and pricing are very aggressive and uh, as equal and at par or sometimes better than China in terms of after sale services. Thank you. And uh, what is your opinion about environmental future, about uh, that uh, um, sustainable uh, future? Sure, that's something we all should focus over. We have, we have been over utilizing resources. If we keep on regulating our expenses and money, we will regulating the environment by itself. But when it comes to the appliances and electricity consumption, which we have been regularly increasing because of upgradation in lifestyle, I don't say like we should restrict the upgradation, but we should be mindful about using the resources of electricity. If they are from renewable resource like sun and wind, then it's absolutely no problem. And then we can be more sustainable. That's why our mission is so important. Yes, yes it is. It is. It is. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Expo Media, my name is Alexander. What is your name? My name is Santosh Suri. I've come from Jansi. We are manufacturers of transformer accessories. The machine what we have displayed here is a rechargeable breather. Earlier, the silica gel which was being used in a transformer, it used to get exhausted and it has to be discarded 100%. But nowadays, due to these machines, we can recharge the silica gel many times. It can be used up to 20 times. Oh, you can recharge this 20, 20 times. So, so okay. It is a, a eco-friendly product. 
Okay, how is your experience in this uh, exhibition? I must tell you, this the entire transformer industry awaits for two years because not only as an exhibitor, but the purchasers also, they are also very much interested in uh, visiting this for new products, for new items, for new innovations. So everybody is very much interested. It's uh, very used to the entire country also. And you can uh, you can find him some business partners, some uh, customers. Sure, recently we, uh, one Russian, uh, one of he's going to be our partner, business partner yeah. from Russia. He has visited. We are overwhelmed. We are here also for overseas business because we are doing overseas business. We want people from the entire world they should visit India and see us as a potential supplier of very much what is all. Um, we are very much uh, re renowned for our products, for our quality, for our reliability is the, the thing which I want to emphasize. Okay, very great, very good. And uh, tell me that your company exported some uh, supply, yeah? Supply. Yeah, we export to Germany, to Russia, to America as well, to Australia, to the entire Okay, very good, good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Alex. Expo Media. My name is Alexander. What is your name? I am Vikas. Hello, Alexander. Nice to meet you, Siemens, in this uh, exhibition. And uh, can you introduce and uh, tell me about uh, that's uh, your experience in this exhibition? Wow, this is a nice exhibition, and we have been participating here since a long time now. We are a regular participant, and I think uh, this year is going to be some kind of a record. The kind of footfall that we are seeing since today morning. Let's see how it goes. Okay, okay, nice. Now we're standing near that's uh, AI, yeah, AI, AI technologies, and uh, that's uh, very uh, important technologies in this day, and uh, uh, that's uh, very interesting for me. That's how that Siemens using this technology in these days, and uh, that's. Uh, uh, can you tell me about your future plans and how in uh, about your vision in future? How we can use uh, these technologies in uh, sust uh, sustainable future? So, if you go around our booth, you'll see that we are talking about, you know, transforming industry, transforming energy, transforming grid. And uh, in Siemens, we feel that AI is going to be one of the main drivers of the transformation that is coming up in the future. Even currently, the kind of uh, development that is happening in our uh, solutions that we are providing to the customers, AI plays, AI plays a very important role. For example, right now, what you see over here is uh, inspired by Gen AI. So this is industrial co-pilot that we are launching in the country. And this makes the task of an automation engineer to engineer the system, even when it goes for the operations, the task becomes very simple. You are able to interact with the automation system. You are able to interact with your machine in a normal language, normal language, even, even in your local language. For example, if you want to talk to the machine in Hindi as to what is what has gone wrong in the machine you can actually ask the system as to what has gone wrong and the machine will list down automatically and machine will help you automatically to that correct correct so that is what this co-pilot is all about and again a revolutionary change that is going to come in the industry yes it's really, really revolutionary and uh, that's uh, how this uh, Siemens uh, located some technologies in India and some uh, uh, do you have some uh, factories in India uh, I think uh, this is an answer, uh, maybe uh, you can also ask our CC guys uh, about this. Okay, okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. We completed our day at the exhibition Elekrama 2025. See you next time.